Hello and welcome back. I am so glad to have you here in the second video in the Be The Difference training series. I am so excited to help you get to the root of why your struggling readers are struggling. So in the last video, we talked about the path that typically progressing students take as they learn how to read. In an ideal world, all of our students would follow this path and all of our students would succeed. But as we know, it doesn't always happen that way. Things don't always perfectly happen. We still get struggling readers that get stuck and fall off and don't make it to the end of the path. These struggling readers often display some of the following attributes that you might find very familiar within your own students. They shy away from decoding and instead guess words. When they do decode or sound words out, it's very labor intensive and hard for them. There's no fluency. Their reading is broken up and choppy, kind of like robot reading. And they don't comprehend what they're reading. Any of those sound familiar? We can pinpoint the source of reading problems for these students using the simple view of reading. The simple view of reading is a simple formula to explain how reading is gained. It was developed by Philip Goh and William Tumner in the 80s, and it is so simple and full of truth that it still stands strong today. It suggests that the whole purpose of why we read is to gain meaning. Reading comprehension is the goal. To get there, we need two things. We need decoding, which is the ability to match letters to sounds and then sounds to words. Basically, decoding is just being able to read the words. And we need language comprehension which is an understanding of the meaning of words and language without the text. So decoding is words only text-based and language comprehension is language only just speaking and listening. So you have to be able to read the words and then you have to be able to understand the language that the words are telling you. Now, decoding and language comprehension each get a score between 0 and 1. 0 is 0% 0 proficient and 1 is 100% proficient. I love that there is a multiplication symbol in between these two. It suggests that they build off of each other. If either one is missing or at a 0, then reading comprehension will be at a 0. Both decoding and language comprehension are essential for reading. Now, the simple view of reading gives us two possible sources for the root of our reading problems. Decoding and word reading problems or language comprehension. Now, we can further break this down into four different types of struggling readers. The first one we're going to talk about is purely concerning language comprehension. Students who can decode perfectly and read a passage beautifully, but then have no idea what they just read are what we call hyperlexic. These students are a bit more rare, but they are still out there. The next type of struggling reader is dyslexic. Now, I say that term and some people immediately have some ideas jump into their mind about what dyslexia is. But there have been a lot of misconceptions about dyslexia. Dyslexia is not seeing letters backwards or any type of visual problem. In the simplest terms, dyslexic students simply struggle to learn how to decode. They have completely normal or often above average intelligence and language skills. They just have trouble connecting the language to print. And we'll talk more about why in a minute. Dyslexia is way more common than people realize. According to the Yale Center for Dyslexia and Creativity in the International Dyslexia Association, about 15 to 20% of the population struggles with dyslexia. And dyslexia can account for 80 to 90% of all reading difficulties. 
dyslexic tendencies are the most common type of reading difficulty. All right, next we have the mixed type of struggling readers. And these students struggle with both the word level decoding and language comprehension. When working with these students, it's best to treat the word level reading problems first because sometimes that is just the gate that is needed to allow the language skills to grow. And the last category of struggling readers is the compensators. These students are tricky because they often fall under the radar and slip through the cracks. These are the students who have remarkable language skills, but disguised reading comprehension and word level reading struggles. Their vocabulary and language skills are so strong that they can guess words and fill in the gaps while they're reading, even though they're struggling to decode the words. This type of reading requires a lot of brain power to guess and fill in the gaps, which doesn't leave as much brain power for higher level reading comprehension. Their strong language skills makes it seem as though they're having average reading comprehension and word reading skills, when in reality, they're actually struggling. These students often do fine in the lower grades, but as text gets harder and harder and their peers grow faster, they will struggle in the higher grades. So it's important to identify them and help them early. Now that we understand all of the different types of struggling readers, I want to give you a closer look at the reading progression chart that we talked about in the last video. Most reading problems will be solved by fixing word reading problems. This path right here is the path to gain that word reading fluency. Now, do you see any patterns with how these skills are developed? I see phonemic awareness, phonics, phonemic awareness, phonics phonemic awareness, phonics. Each level of reading starts with phonemic awareness. This phonemic awareness is key to advancing our students to the next step. And this is also where our struggling readers are getting hung up. It's called the phonological core deficit, and it is essential to address. Remember that secret I told you about, orthographic mapping? Most kids who struggle cannot make that jump to fluency because they are not good at orthographic mapping. Okay, I know that was very content heavy and a lot thrown at you, but it is so essential to understand why our struggling readers are struggling. Now, we know where we want our students to be to progress on that path of typically developing readers. We know why they're not there and what's at the root of their struggles. Now we need to know how to bridge that gap and get them back on that path where we want them to be. And we'll find that out in the next video. This is the exciting part. This is where you find the key to actually help your struggling readers. It's where you take action to be the teacher that makes the difference for your struggling readers. Thank you so much for joining me for this video and I can't wait for you to see the next one. So click that link and I'll see you then.